we now have neuratinib, though. I think we said pertuzumab, it sounds like we're not that enthusiastic about the adjuvant use of it. In if we're some using settings, it neoadjuvantly yes. from what I'm hearing. No, you know, some but settings. what about neuratinib? So okay. the way I, at least I personally look at it is again, is this basically the people who are not going to have PCRs generally are ER positive or triple positive. And the people who do not have a PCR, maybe are those are the ones that'll give neuratinib to adjuvantly? You know? Well, we don't have it at this moment, but if we had, probably it would be the reverse subset. So that's the lower risk, the receptor positives, you know, who I think who based on the data. I mean, 4.4% absolute difference, I mean, that's not trivial. No, it is um, not trivial. So, I so, I mean, if it were my sister, I think I would treat her. And, you know, mm -hmm. why should I should treat my patients uh, less than my sister? Uh, we have seen the long-term data from all those adjuvant trials with chemotherapy and trastuzumab. Um, um, you have shown it yesterday in the yesterday session also, uh, Hope, and uh, 30, 40 percent of the patients with multiple involved lymph nodes, even with the best therapy we have, still have metastasis and recurrences. So these are the patients who definitely need additional therapy. If the patient comes from the surgeon in your country, we are the surgeon ourselves because we do the medical treatment and the surgery, but if it happens, Hope or Joyce or Adam, that the patient comes from the surgeon to you, the patient has four or more involved lymph nodes, probably you would advise her to have a double blockade, Absolutely. period. Absolutely. Good. Now, she comes to your office one year after finishing trastuzumant adjuvant therapy, she is hormone receptor positive, and you have neurotinib available, she's asking you, Dr. Bruski, what can I do? And you would tell her, oh yes, we have this drug, it's available, we can manage the diarrhea, well, let's do it. I understand you're gonna be on round-the-clock lipiramide <laughs> for the first month, but yes, yeah. uh, that's so, what I tell people. And and only I, the yeah. first month. Only yeah. the first month. And only yes. some people. All right, so I agree, funny. but that's what I, that's what I actually, I've exactly. done that very, exactly. and I've actually yeah. told that to somebody. Yes. That's exactly and, uh, what I would do. Yeah. This is what I right. would do at the moment, but again, if a patient comes with a newly diagnosed of HER2 positive disease from the biopsy, she's T2, she has suspicious lymph nodes in the axilla, then obviously I would give her optimal chemo with double blockade. Right. And if she belongs to those 60-70% who have a PCR, basically this patient she's is done. cured. She's done, I agree. Is cured. Well. Mm, Let's hope she's cured. Positive. Would you? Uh, uh, that just not all of them. The, the, the positive is not as good a yeah. predictor. You know, it's just it's just not. We should move on to we should positive. move on to triple mm -hmm. negative. But one, I'm going to ask a question then. So that person gets the six cycles or however many cycles of neoadjuvant therapy you give, depending on what part of the world you're in, and even in the United States, what coast of the country you're in, and you get that, and you have a PCR. Does that person need the Herceptin after? My my hypothesis is no. For but it's an hypothesis. For negative. 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 My negative. hypothesis is yeah, no. But in, in clinical practice, we still give. We it. still give. Mm. We completely we still do give it. the eleven more doses. Mm. But I think know, we, I you know, based on the numerics of affinity, at least we are not forced to give double. Uh, right. we're, we're not. For I such agree. A we're not going to give double. But probably. you know, Adam, we went to the European Community five years ago with Sibylle Loibel and Gunther von Minkwitz and asked for a trial to be fi to be financed with this design. Unfortunately, it was refused. Right. So at the moment, what I'm saying is an hypothesis. In the clinical practice, this patient is still receiving a six months adjuvant or right. post-surgical treatment with trastuzumab, right. but basically we don't know whether this patient needs the treatment or not. 